what can you tell about this new take on the on the, um, the events that happen? Well, you know, we, what's what's fun about the show is we're trying to we start off uh, with the basis of it being um, historically accurate. We, we are we're taking place in the 1690s during the Salem witch trials. The hair, the costumes, the, the town that we've built, the sets are about as accurate as you can be. And we feel like that's a great foundation. Then where the genre part gets involved into it being the horror element and things like that, that just to me makes it a lot more exciting when you, when you can put your own twist on history. is a lot of fun for me as a viewer. It also kind of messes with your head as a viewer. Yeah, we're a little over the top in the, in, in, in the supernatural with witches and things like that, but it makes you start to wonder like, oh, did this really actually happen? Was was this really a part of the truth that I skipped over in high school and forgot about? But uh, um, so I so think you're gonna make us question history, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, in a way. I mean, it's it's a fun take. I mean, it's it's what if the witches were real, and what if they were running the Salem witch trials? Which would, if that were a true thing, make a lot of sense for the paranoia and the delusional behavior that really happened back in the day. Um, it's, I think, a very unique take on that and uh, something that makes us stand out, um, especially when you get into episode two and three and four, when you get into the run of the series besides just the pilot, it makes us stand out a lot more than the other shows that, have to be, that happen to be about this specific genre that are out there right now. Can you talk a little bit about your character and how he's involved in the story? Well, John is one of the first born in the New World. Uh, his father was one of the first settlers. He's royalty in that sense. Uh, um, and he's very confident and stubborn and brash and kind of like the first cowboy before the cowboys were around. He's kind of the first American hero, uh, really. Um, and he's, you know, fallen for the love of his life, Mary Sibley, who he grew up with. He goes to war, um, thinks it's only going to last a year. It lasts five. Then he's captured. He becomes a prisoner of war for two years and is tortured uh, for a long period of time to the point that most people think he's dead. And when he uh, returns to Salem, everything's changed. And um, what's fun for me playing a character like that, besides it's just being a strong-willed character, it's also exciting to be kind of the audience's POV of, especially in the pilot, not necessarily afterwards, but in the pilot, in the first episode, you know, coming back into town and, and you're, you, he, as the viewer is, they're introduced to all these quirky and offbeat characters that, um, you as a viewer are trying to figure out things about, and so is Alden at this point in his life. And um, I feel like he's kind of the everyman. Um, he's the only one that seems a little bit more sane than the rest of them. And how is he connected to other characters other than Mary and... Well, you'll, you'll find as the season kind of goes on that, uh, and so far by episode nine, I'm still not sure how, on, the, how, on some of the connections, but, you know, he... It's a small town in theory, you know, it's not Los Angeles circa, t circa 2014. So everyone kind of knows each other. He knew a little bit of the character of Isaac. He knew a little bit of the character of Cotton Mather because they technically grew up together besides Mary Sibley. Of course, George, George Sibley, Mary Sibley's husband, was one of his arch nemesis, is uh, someone that he, he uh, hated most in life. Um, so there's connections I, you don't know how close that they are uh, that he is with the other, these other characters but you know it's a small town like you can walk a hundred feet to your next door neighbor's house i mean it's it's pretty close quarters what, what's sort of the overall theme of the first season i think it's more the uh of trying to to discover how these um salem witch trials go down in, um, with the supernatural element that we've added. So in this, in this season, you're gonna, I mean, a, a ton happens, but you, you'll see relationships develop, you'll see relationships crumble, and it all leads up to the infamous Salem Witch Trials. People will go on trial that you don't expect. Uh, people, I guess Game of Thrones style, might die that you don't expect. Uh, and people might become more major characters than when they started off being a, a smaller character. It's, it's gonna be a whirlwind first season and we can we don't want to wrap it up in a nice little bow because we want we want as many seasons as we can to tell this story one final question for you do you have a message for the first time viewers that are about that are ready to watch Salem um, yes I you know we really hope you become passionate about it as much as we are um, we really hope you enjoy the first episode 
um, that will hopefully hook you into the rest of the season. And um, it's something that's not that it's hard to tell from the trailers because you know we're trying to scare a lot of people and get people interested. But it's not something that's on television to, at, on, at this time. There's no other show like it, and I think you'll I think you'll understand when you watch.